Good morning, class family. It's a terrific Tuesday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Fall with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Let's start with the date. May 23rd, 2023. Dear class family, today is Tuesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we'll review letter sounds and how to write sentences. Next, we will participate in a whole class conversation about a book. Then, we will add who, what, and where to our picture and words. Last, we will do literacy centers. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, let's look back and reread the message. Remember, good readers read things again. It's called rereading. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Let's start with the date. I see a capital letter M-A-Y. What does that say? Do you know? It does say May. If you remember that, go ahead and pat yourself on the back. Remember, good writers and mathematicians always capitalize the first letter in each month of the year because it's special and important. Let's reread the whole date at this time. May 23rd, 2023. After the date, let's reread the greeting beginning with the word dear. Dear class family, after the greeting, I noticed a punctuation mark. It starts on the line and does a little curve. Do you remember the name of the punctuation mark that looks like this? Well, what's it called? Comma. All right, let's review all of these punctuation marks that you're going to see within the message and question for today. Comma, say it with me, period, exclamation mark, also called an exclamation point, question mark. All right, let's go ahead and continue to reread, starting with the first telling sentence, beginning with a capital letter T. Good writers capitalize the first letter in each sentence. It's really important to do that as we are rereading. Notice how every sentence starts with a capital letter. All right, let's reread. Today is Tuesday. It is Tuesday and it's a terrific Tuesday. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. We do that each day to be a great collaborator, communicator, and creative and critical thinker. We do this by listening, writing, and drawing, asking and answering questions, making connections, and sharing our thinking. Good communicators speak loudly and clearly for all to hear. Good communicators use their mouth to speak and their ears to listen. All right, as we continue to reread, you're going to see some transitional words. Good readers and writers can put story events in order. We're going to go ahead and put them in order with first, next, then last. Review these transitional words with me. Let's go ahead and say them together. First, next, then, last. Okay, let's reread the sentence. It starts with F on F. First. First, we'll review letter sounds and how to write sentences. Okay, we'll review letter sounds by using our word walls or resource to review the ABCs. Letter sounds, pictures match that word, American and Sign Language. We're going to use the parts of a sentence song. Shout out to Jack Hartman's YouTube channel. We're going to be using that song. And let's go ahead and remember, first, you're going to have a sentence that starts with a capital letter, tells a complete idea, finger space between the words, and a punctuation mark at the end. So remember, use capital letters to start sentences. That's what good writers do. Good writers write a letter for each sound. And use resources like the word wall and alphabet chart to help them sound out words and tap them out. 
Good writers leave finger spaces between the words so the words don't smush together. And when good writers write sentences, they put a period at the end of every sentence if it's a telling sentence or a statement. We're going to be practicing sentences with periods at the end when you're doing your writing today in kindergarten. All right, let's read this word. It starts with n nut n. Next. Next, we'll participate in a whole class conversation about a book. We will. We'll be looking at the world according to Humphrey. We're going to have a whole class conversation. We'll be talking about Humphrey the hamster, the main character in the book. We'll be talking about his experiences at school, and we'll also be looking at the next chapter. We're going to be having a whole class conversation first before we continue to read The World According to Humphrey. All right, now look at this word. It starts with T-H, tongue or teeth, the, then. Then we'll add who, what, and where to our picture and words. All right, yesterday you already thought of a topic, so you were planning it and sketching it, and today you're going to be making sure that you write the words. We already reviewed what good writers do to write sentences, and make sure your pictures help with the words. You're going to be adding some details showing who, what, and where in your story or your all about book. Remember, this is a writing assessment that we can't help you on, so you gotta use your resources so we can see what you know independently. Good writers go through the writing process and revise, edit, and proofread their writing. You started yesterday, let's go ahead and continue today. All right, I see that transitional word with an L, last. Last, we'll do literacy centers. Love, Miss Joyner. We will do literacy centers. You know we'll do Lexia. We'll do some other Fox centers. We already have a big writing assignment to do, and we're going to be doing some reviews, like reviewing some books that we enjoy in class, writing the room, building CBC words. It's going to be fantastic. Get your fans ready. Fan fantastic. Our would you rather question for today is dun, 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 would you rather eat onions or worms Ooh, think about your answer get ready to be a great communicator and share why we'll put a tally mark under onions or worms whatever your answer is and you'll be sharing your thinking would you rather eat onions or worms why 